to get food after the race. And one of the race directors caught him into this uh, this kind of uh, canteen where all the mayors and stuff are and all the organizers like they were a separate place and uh gave me a shot of vodka and a cup. It was about three shots in it, but I couldn't say no, I had to drink it. And uh your legs are a bit wobbly now. Legs are a bit wobbly. Jesus, it is hot. It's gonna be a hard one, that's for sure. At least I got the correct air right this time. Busy over there. Witamy jeszcze wśród nas pana Mateusza Majewskiego, członka zarządu powiatu piarskiego, pana Tomasza Andriuka, radnego powiatu piarskiego. Błogosławi! Po co ja się dostałem? Zawodnicy z biegu Sapiechów. Witamy ich serdecznie, brawami. Mamy nadzieję, że po kolei wszyscy będą Sarah Tom. 
hey, another win. Probably my best performance yet. Definitely my best race over here yet anyway. It was a big one. Good standard there today. A lot of lads I came up against before were there. And there was one fella I never uh, raced against before and he was here today. Um, he went out, took up the pace nice and hard. Around 5.05 for the first mile. 5.10. So I was planning on leaving him off. You know, I'd settle into the pace around 5.15 a mile. And I was happy with that, you know, I was up. It was probably the same effort as the 10k I was doing last week and um, I went through the 10k today and 32 30 so I was faster for the 10k here. It was, the route was perfect, it was straight out. It was quite warm but it was just straight. Perfect place to race, perfect place to run a fast time like. And uh started raining after about five miles. I was delighted, I was like yes, keep coming, keep coming. It only lasted about five minutes, but it was uh, it was enough to cool me down, you know. And uh, I passed the leader about five k into the race, and um, I said, if I don't just keep pushing on now, he's going to hang on to the back of me again. So I kept up a nice tempo, and um, I broke him in after about halfway, and I was on my own again. Like I was just trying to maintain the pace in at that stage. So it was definitely my best performance. Um, one far off the course record I'd say today. And the fellow that said it was second, like he was nice to be back today. Uh, I think uh, what the Polish uh, international runner, she was about fifth or sixth. And uh, I'm just cooling down here now on a soccer pitch. And I'd say if you kick the ball over the bar, it will end up in Belarus because just beyond them trees is the Bog River and at the other side of that river is Belarus and um, I'll run up here and I'll show you the border so just doing a two mile cool down and go up and they're doing the presentation then definitely a nice uh, Nice race to finish with anyway, I probably won't race again, you know, unless I'm not going to go to my way to race like because I want to try to get in some nice long training sessions now. And uh, today was a great, um, great uh, stimulus today, running at that pace and I kind of eased up a bit in the last mile because I had a big gap. And here is the border. No. Oh. You can see over there, the other side, the Belarus border. If you go through there, you'll hit the Bug River. And uh, so there it is. Yeah, you, know, you might hear something on the news about all the wars and stuff. But life goes on over here. It's quite nothing going on at the border. You know, it's just a river between us and them and we're the same people like. So don't believe everything you see in the news I guess. Head back over now for the ceremony. Great finish. Absolutely love that course now. I'd love to I'd love to be able to run on that one all the time, you know, if we could race on that and then it was all straight up, turn around the table and then back in. To get food after the race. And one of the race directors caught him into this uh, this kind of uh, canteen where all the mirrors and stuff are and all the organizers like they were a separate place and uh Give me a shot of vodka in a cup. It was about three shots in it, but I couldn't say no, I had to drink it. And uh the old legs are a bit wobbly, you know. Legs are a bit wobbly. But you know, I'm not driving anyway, so I was being good all week anyway, so there's no harm having one like 
over here when they and the mayor or the organizer offers you something you can't know it's hospitality like and uh it's a lovely little village this place cold and beautiful little place it's real it's real rural like in the i suppose the bread basket of portland uh lots of farming here lots of uh agricultural industry like and uh you'll definitely see the old houses here in the streets and that's the way the people want it like so beautiful place it's a lot of we can we have to win you know especially when i seen the the four-time champion pulling away at the start like and I thought that's it now he's gonna be gone I just settle in here and take second place like but like I said I got to the 5k point and uh, I got close to him I think he just tried to break everyone at the start and uh, when I came up behind him then I was working hard now but I made sure I tried to kind of uh, breathe normal like not give anything away and uh, passed them out anyway and I was cruising like so I'd say if I realised that there's like that it's not going to be an easy day today and um, I kept going so I suppose I better get on and get my trophy Otrzymuje Andrzej Orłowski. Brawo! Drugie miejsce i puchar posła na Sejm RP Marcina Duszka zdobywa Andrzej Starzyński. Brawo! Andrzej Starzyński. Pierwsze miejsce i puchar marszałka województwa lubelskiego Jarosława Stawiarskiego otrzymuje John Kinsella pochodzący z Irlandii. Pana posła Stefaniuka prosimy o wręczenie pucharu w imieniu Nagrody rektor Biegów Sapieków Dominik. I najlepszych Open Mężczyzn. Brawo i gratulujemy wszystkich wyników. What do you think of the race? Good. Uh, you run fast. First you were then. When you just started on the lap around the park, you were second and I thought you would come second, but you actually came first. Don't doubt me. Don't doubt your dad. So, not a good day at the office for uh, Limerick running. Really nice village. Right on the European frontier, the very edge of Europe. A Limerick man came over, took the title. Now he's going back home. And you know what? I had an old sup of vodka there from the the mayor's office. No, I think I'm gonna have a beer tonight. Take it all on board. And tomorrow we go again. Hello and welcome to the end of week seven on the Limerick Running Sub 230 Martin Training Vlog. It's been a good week, it's fair to say. I suppose most of the footage on this video will be from my win in Coden um, on Saturday. It's been a solid week in terms of mileage as well. I still have one more day to go tomorrow, so I should reach um, 90 miles for this week, which is good. The main sessions I done this week then, I did three mile, two mile, one mile, 800 and 400 meter um, lactate threshold session. I didn't actually look at my heart rate when I was doing it. I just um, I just said, you know, I go out now and I'll do, do three at Martin pace. It was just slightly faster. 
two miles at half marathon pace, one mile at 10k pace, 800 or 5k pace, and then just a 400 meter fast. And I I ended up staying in threshold zone for the whole session, which was good because I wasn't um, looking at my heart rate for that. So I was happy to see that. It was a big positive. And Garmin, Garmin put my VO2 max up at 72, which is something new. Like, but a positive sign anyway when, when uh, the watch is giving you good feedback like that. And then today I did 18 mile run and did an aerobic warm up and then I did 11 by 1k at about 3.15 a k. I, I did that through the forest and I, I didn't carry any water with me. It was, it was warm like but it wasn't, it wasn't overly hot. Like. I took a gel when I got to the halfway point and on the way back in then my heart rate seemed to spike but I was still feeling good. I think it was just a glitch in the, the heart rate monitor. Um, so, I'm not sure what it was to be honest with you but it was still a solid session anyway and I felt good throughout the whole lot of it. I did similar session about two weeks ago so this time I just added on um, a kilometer onto it like just to get a new kind of uh, adaptation and the paces were similar enough like and uh, I actually felt um, good today I know so I was delighted with that session so it's been a solid week. With regards to next week then there's, a, there's another half marathon on next week I don't know if I'll run it yet. If I run it um, I definitely don't want to race it like I might have to park my ego aside and just go out and try to do a session on it like you know if it's possible like but we'll see I'll decide that next week this week then I'll just keep building on it so week seven's been solid it's been um it started off good and I got two more solid sessions in I still haven't found a hill over here to do any hill kind of reps I might have to go on just go on a treadmill especially if I want to get some uh, quad work before that mountain race in um, three weeks from now like you know what and um, I'll have two more big weeks of mileage and then I'm going to start tapering down for that mountain race then. So after that race then I won't have much time to build it back up you know and I'll have to get maybe two three weeks um, running after that race and um, that's going to be my key my key kind of phase really and I think the Charnival Half Martins um, it's on two weeks before Chicago, so I think the Charnival Half Marathon is going to be my main race two weeks out. And uh, it's flat, it's fast, it's probably the best race I can do before Chicago. And I'll probably race it and see how I go, you know, without um, without um, leaving all out there. And hopefully it's all done and then just pray that the weather is good and injuries stay away don't forget to hit that subscribe if you uh, like the video and hit like as well and um i'll touch base with you next week on week eight take care